Good evening, I'm Pamela Osborne. And I'm Karen Drew. With contract negotiations with the Detroit 3 set for later this year, voters have a lot to think about before making their decision. Mm -hmm. Rod Maloney has been following this closely, that runoff between the incumbent Ray Curry and his challenger Sean Fain. Uh, Rod, these candidates are quite different. Well, indeed they are, because Fain believes that the union needs to be far more difficult, tougher on the companies. He thinks strikes should be more the norm. Ray Curry says that he has nothing to do with the former uh, corruption and also believes that Sean Fain doesn't have enough experience to manage a national contract negotiation, and that's what they're now getting ready to do. So the rank and file gets the final say. The ballots are now on their way. It's a watershed day. Mike Illich, School of Business union analyst Dr. Merrick Master says today is one that will likely change the union for a very long time. We're in really a zero-sum game right now, and essentially in that the push for electrification demands a lot of money. You have to come up with that money by making cuts wherever possible. Specifically, he's referring to Stellanis' decision to end production today at the Belvedere, Illinois assembly plant with no new product to replace the Cherokee that they built there for the past five years. The idling leaves roughly 2,300 employees scrambling, the angry union negotiating retirement packages, voluntary termination, and pre-retirement leaves for a soft landing. The UAW will negotiate a national contract with the domestic three this year, and no doubt the union will look to get Belvedere reopened. Stellantis is going electric, though, and today announced $155 million in Indiana for electric vehicle production plants like they did here in Detroit. The uncertainty means whether it's Sean Fain or Ray Curry as the new UAW president. The federal overseer will start counting the incoming ballots in Dayton, Ohio, over the next couple of days. Masters tells Local 4 the stakes are quite high for the union going forward. People want to know what their future is going to be and they want to have some assurances that the company will do what it can to preserve as many jobs there as possible. Meaning they're going to be looking at their leadership to go ahead and make all of that happen. Now, the national contract goes ahead uh, and they start negotiating both the local and the national contract together and they have started that work now. We'll see where all of this is headed. Back to you. Okay, so they start negotiations, but when does that national contract expire, Rod? Uh, it expires in September, and a lot is going to go into it, and a lot is up in the air tonight about who exactly is going to lead that. We should know probably by the end of the week who the new president will be. All right, we appreciate it. Thank you, Rod.